YouTube, Mobile Mac. Subscribe to my channel, please. Stay in note with all the information. Today, what is flex fuel? A lot of my customers have a vehicle that can use flex fuel, but they don't know what it is. Now, in my area, which is outside of North Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina, um, there's not many flex fuel gas stations around. But flex fuel is a lower octane burning gas. In other words, you got your 87, you got your 89, and you got your 93 octane. The flex fuel is a 85 octane, which means the lower the number, the less combustible. The thing with flex fuel is it's supposed to be cheaper. It's probably about, I think, 10 to 15 cents cheaper than regular gas, which would be an 87 grade. It's actually about 10 to 15 cents cheaper. But it takes more of it to burn than regular gas. So if you think about it, it kind of evens out. Less money, but it takes more gas. Um, another thing with flex fuel, you have to be careful, you know, being a mechanic working on a car that's flex fuel because the injectors are bigger. The holes on the bottom of the injectors are bigger for a flex fuel vehicle. Because, like I said, it requires more gas into the cylinder to combust. But um, flex fuel it was kind of a iffy, wishy-washy type of deal because it really doesn't benefit you. Like I said a few minutes ago, it helps you because it's a little cheaper, but it takes more to burn. I think flex fuel would be better for a person that doesn't drive a lot. So therefore, they don't have to pay a lot for gas, but they're not driving... 100, 200 miles a week. If that was the case, you better burn regular gas. Or like me and my car, I burn the 93 octane, which is a lot more expensive, of course, but it burns better. And I will discuss that later. Mobile Max.